Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll explore the new Turtle Island farming maps coming in the Wheels of Alberta episode update. We'll talk about the attributes of the new monsters lurking in this region, as well as the materials, cards, and headwear blueprints that they drop. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. From Alberta, you can go to Turtle Island by talking to the sailor in the southeast corner of the map. The reason why it's called Turtle Island is not only because of the small turtles scattered around the map, but also because of the ubiquitous turtle statues. According to historians, these turtle statues and dilapidated buildings on the island were created by the Old Liang tribe. This tribe once had a glorious civilization, but for some reason the tribe has disappeared. You'll also see red and blue crystals around the map which are the legendary frost fire crystals. It is said that they are rare materials that can greatly strengthen equipment. There's also an underground cave where most turtles live. But before we proceed, let's first take a look at the various monsters in the main Turtle Island map. There are three regular monsters, one mini boss, and one MVP boss monster that spawn here. For the first monster, we have the level 120 per meter or fruit tree turtle which is of neutral element, brute race, and medium size. Its usual material drops are crystal tear and shell. The per meter card is a headwork card which increases vit by 10 points and reduces damage taken from dark and undead element by 15%. It's one of the cards needed to get the turtle card combo effect which removes weapon size penalty and grants plus 20% max HP and plus 50% HP regen. As for the headwear blueprint it drops, we have the heater headwear which boosts HP by 300 and auto attack damage reduction by 3%. Next we have the level 124 Assaulter or Wind Spirit Turtle which is of wind element, demi human race, and medium size. Its usual material drops are crack hard shell and rough wind. The Assaulter card is a weapon card which increases crit damage by 10% and crit rate against the human race by 20. It's also one of the cards needed to get the Turtle card combo effect. As for the headwear blueprint it drops, we have the Assaulter shell back item which reduces damage taken from small size by 10%. When refined to plus 10, it will increase your damage to small size by 15%. Next, we have the level 122 Freezer or Water Turtle, which is of water element, brute race, and medium size. Its usual material drops are Tough Skin and Mystic Frozen. The Freezer card is a footgear card that increases movement speed by 8% and max HP by 2000. It's also one of the cards needed to get the Turtle card combo effect. When it comes to farming, the mob density and spawn rate are similar to those in Pantera Hunting Grounds. Since their levels range from level 120 to 124, farming with a max level character may not be efficient. However, it's still pretty important to farm here as they drop Frostfire Crystal which is the material needed to upgrade the new blacksmith shop growth system. Now let's take a look at the boss monsters lurking in this island. First, we have the level 130 Buaya, or Treasure Chest Crocodile Mini Boss, which is of Dragon Race, Water Element, and Large Size. It drops Turtle Shell, which is important for upgrading equipment to Tier 5. The Buaya card is an armor card which grants plus 5 fit and has a 33% chance of petrifying enemies within 8 meters for 3 seconds when receiving magic damage. This effect can only be triggered once every 15 seconds. As for the headwear blueprint it drops, we have the Tooth of Greed which increases physical attack by 8% and has a 5% chance of casting Decrease Agility level 3 on the target when attacking with physical damage. As for the battle mechanics, the treasure chest protects Buaya, reducing the damage it receives. To cancel out its damage reduction effect, you need to destroy the alligator egg summoned by the treasure chest. If the alligator eggs are not destroyed, they will hatch into alligator mobs, which will assist Buaya in battle. Its attacks deal wind and water element magic damage, and it can spawn thunderstorms that can stun and immobilize. In 
and for the MVP, we have the level 132 Turtle General, which is a brute race, earth element, and large size. It drops a shiny scale and turtle shell, which are important for upgrading equipment to tier 5. The Turtle General card is a weapon card which boosts physical damage by 15% and has a 10% chance of casting Dark Rage. This skill causes dark element physical damage to the target within 5 meters, inflicts a 20% slowdown effect, and grants 10% attack bonus to self, lasting for 10 seconds. As for the header blueprint it drops, we have the Lost Oracle Bone, which reduces damage taken from large size by 10%. When refined to plus 10, it will increase your damage to large size by 15%, so this can help activate the inside effect of Minara's card in the handbook. As for the battle mechanics, you need to first defeat the Assaulter Link to the Turtle General before you can deal damage to it. Turtle General has both jumping and charging attacks. The jump attack is often followed by a Whirlwind Slash which has a chance to destroy gears, while his charge attack has a chance to stun. In terms of spells, the Turtle General will release a Water Ball around himself, dealing massive damage and immobilizing players. Its signature move is Sword Blade Storm, which marks up the three enemies with 1, 2, and 3 and charge towards them in a straight line in order. Players who are not marked should stay away from the charging path to avoid receiving huge damage. Before I proceed to the next part of the video, I'd like to give special thanks to Smile One for sponsoring this video. Smile One is an international game top up center which has been in business for almost a decade. They have hundreds of partnerships with game developers including Ragnarok Mobile so they can offer cheaper BCC and monthly premium versus in-game prices. Smile One Top Up is available in many countries across all servers and there are various payment methods you can choose from. Here in the Philippines, I can pay easily via Gcash, BPI, or 7-Eleven outlets and receive the BCC instantly. Please do check out Smile One's pricing and payment methods using my exclusive link in the description box below. Now let's continue to the Turtle Secret Cave by entering this portal from Turtle Island. This underground cave is where more types of regular turtle monsters live. There are also rich frostfire crystal mines in this spooky cave. There are four regular monsters that spawn here. First, we have the level 121 Solider or Rock Turtle, which is of Earth Element, Brute Grease, and Medium Size. Its usual material drops are Crystal Tear and Great Nature. The Solider card is an armor card which increases both physical and magic defense by 15%. It's one of the cards needed to get the Turtle card combo effect. Next, we have the level 123 Ghost Turtle, which is of Ghost Element, Root race and medium size. Its usual material drops are Crack Hard Shell and Leaf of Idrisil. The Ghost Turtle card is a headgear card which increases Vit by 5 points and reduces Ghost Element damage received by 5%. Next, we have the level 125 Night Turtle, which is of Dark Element, Root race and medium size. Its usual material drops are Tough Skin and Wall Paint. The Knight Turtle card is an armor card which reduces dark element damage received by 3%. And lastly, we have the level 127 Stinger or Poison Turtle, which is of Poison Element, Demon Race, and Medium Size. Its usual material drops are White Jewel and New Poison. The Stinger card is a headgear card which boosts all attributes by 1 point and Poison Element damage by 3%. So those are the two new farming maps coming in the Wills of Alberta episode update. It is based on the content released in the China beta test server, so the exact names may be translated differently once the patch is officially released in C, Global, and EU servers. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.